Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to Stay Lit, Living in Truth. We are so excited about our segment here on today, and we certainly want you to call in and join us live. We are um, here with two special guests, but just let me tell you a little bit about Stay Lit, Living in Truth. Our mission is to foster community relations, and we do this in the Auburn Gresham and the Inglewood communities. Our focus is on delinquency and violence prevention. We strive each day to collaborate with community partners, to offer supportive services for youth and emerging leaders. We empower young men and young women to lead healthy, productive lives. We want you to join the Stay Lit movement. Call in live. We're here on the air, 312 738 1060. Again, 312 738 1060. We can be contacted directly at the State Lit Office. Stop by. We're located 459 West on 79th Street. That's on the corner of 79th and Normal. Email us at statelitcys at gmail.com or give us a call 773-797-2008. My name is Dr. Carol Collum. I am the Executive Director. And again, I have two guests with us today. Uh, we have Kiara Caldwell and we have Dominique Hampton. And I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. Go ahead, Kiara. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm Kiara Caldwell. Um, I'm a graduate from Prairie View Andam University. I graduated in 2013. Just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I grew up in Chicago, Illinois. And I think it's really important that what we're doing and the mission about what we're doing is very important about giving back to the community by being with Stay Lit. So uh, just the fact that I'm with Stay Lit and being able to give this information is pretty great uh, for the community and being a part of it. Thank you so much. We're glad to have you as one of our primary community resource partners. And Ms. Dominique. Hi, everyone. My name is Dominique Hampton. I'm a senior at Bogan High School. And right now, I'm very excited for being a part of Stay Lit and um, basically just being a part of in, involved in my community and just helping out um, with like everything that's going on. Just, you know, the youth is the future. So I'm grateful to be a part of that. And we're so glad we've located you. You are just, um, you know, a diamond. And, and we're um, so excited for your future Thank as you. well. So um, let's start off this conversation. Yes. Um, man, how do you think youth could benefit from this career readiness workshop uh, seminar that we've been rolling out, right? We've been having some um, awesome feedback from um, the community partners and the youth coming to attend these workshops, but I wanted to ask you, Kiara and Dominique, how do you feel the youth can benefit from what we're doing? Well, I think the youth can benefit from what we're doing as a um as far as being ready to get a job or ready for employment and retain employment because it's one thing about getting a job and going for the interview and getting ready and doing the mark interviews but what happens when we actually land that job what happens when we land our dream job not just the job for right now but our dream job so what what do we need or, or what do we have to prepare for that and with the curriculum that we've rolled out which is uh, bringing our a game um, bringing our a game to work every day is a way that we retain employment so it gives us seven core steps that help us retain employment and keep the job when we get the job. So those uh, seven core steps are very important. Um, they follow with um, your attitude, your attendance, uh, your appearance, your ambition, your accountability, your appreciation, and just accepting uh, the job and what comes with it. So those seven core things are just really important about retaining information and retaining employment and being a part of Stay Lit and us bringing that forth is very important. I think that's a huge impact. 
Yeah, and so um, you mentioned those seven core values, and then, you know, because those values don't only relate to work or employment. That's yeah. what's so uh, powerful about this curriculum that we're wor rolling out here. And then, Dominique, you actually participated in that workshop. What was, like, the major benefit for you? I would say basically um, it was basically like a good social networking because you get so many great opportunities during this um, workshop and it really helped me as a person, as a young adult in Chicago to realize what um, many great things are out there such as like jobs and you get to work with other young people like yourself and it's like amazing to meet new people also because you guys can come together with new ideas and you can probably possibly make it into something great in the future as you know um, youth and um, just basically I say it was a very great opportunity just to be a part of um, this workshop and you learn more about about yourself because when you going through resumes you'll learn that you know how to do this and that you 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 very like involved in the community once you have all your jobs lined up that you did in the past and I would just say it will be very beneficial for everybody especially in young adults like myself yeah, and you know what, what was so um, key with what you said about the social networking, you know, when we looked at the sign-in sheets and the responses that we were getting from the high schools across the city of Chicago, I'm telling you, you know, Dominique, you attend Bogan. We had young people from Bowen High School. We had young people from Lane Tech. We had young people from Lindblom. We had young people from Leo Catholic High School. We had young people from Simeon High School. So we we had um, a nice group of well-rounded young people who came ready to work, ready to learn, and like you say, really had this uh, eye-opening moment to say, hey, I really did accomplish some things in my life. <laughs> hey, I really, I really did work a couple jobs because, you know, sometimes young people think, uh, a job is something where you get an official paycheck, but just having that conversation and say, well, hey, if you helped around the house, you helped with babysitting, you helped with some little odds and end um, projects and tasks, that also can identify um, key things on your resume. And so just really bringing that awareness to young people um, I think was powerful as well. And then, Kiara, you actually designed this curriculum. So kind of talk us, you know, talk through that and walk us through that whole process of you designing and why did you pick those particular um, components to uh, share during the presentation? Okay, um, well, I designed it based off of my own experiences, I guess you can say. Um, uh, before working with State Lit, I also worked with another not-for-profit, and it was something that they had um, as well, but it was a little different. So when I looked into it myself, I saw that they had a, a teen version of something like they were handing out. And I said to myself, well, we can use this. <laughs> Uh, we can use this and so I went ahead and I ordered the book I read the book and I took out you know the key points that I thought were important and essential for our young people to know so they can retain employment and just be and be ahead of the game and always bring their a game because that's important that's the, that's the name of the book bringing your a game to work and what are we doing to do that so I just uh, took out the the, the major points that I thought were important in those seven core seven core things that young people could benefit from, young, young people could know, and just kind of dissect a little bit because, you know, some of these things we talk about in the seven core things, they don't even know how it can relate to working. So just making sure that they see that these things work hand in hand, not just at school, not just in the community, but in our workplace where we, you know, where we have to survive and what we need to do, you know, so that we can be better as people. So I felt like when I designed this curriculum, I designed it so that we can enhance the youth's um, capabilities or abilities that they already have, um, that they didn't know that they had. So for me, it was a fun. It was fun to do um, because I like I like doing it, and I like to see the outcome. I like to see you know how they respond to the information that I give them. I like to see you know if, is it something I, I should change? Is it relatable? Can they understand what I'm saying? And for me, I think the whole bringing it together and the whole experience of doing.
doing that and seeing their faces, each group was different. Every group didn't respond the same. Every example I gave to each group didn't respond the same. So just seeing that, hey, okay, this person got it, this person got this one, and understand that they understood it all at the end of the day. And I think that was great because um, I didn't know how it was going to be or when I did it. So I just did it and uh, had a vision and I was ambitious about it, created a plan and took action on that plan. Mm -hmm. you, and you mentioned, um, again, the different groups and how the different groups responded differently, right? Um, because this is a one day, this is a one day um, workshop two hours relatively and like you say it's scenario based which is really what um, makes it so interesting and in, in where the young people are actively participating because they get to chime in when the scenarios are um, offered and then you know it's not just lecture yeah. right yeah. it's 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 them it's, it's student-led conversations and again like you say it can be applied not only in the workplace but in life and I think that's what makes it so um, again, so powerful. So, um, Dominique, was it any favorite parts? Like, what, what, like, do you remember the most from the workshop? I would say my favorite part from the workshop was basically going over my resume because then again, resumes are very important, especially as a young adult. Since I'm 18 now, it's like I'm about to be in a real, real war world, like um, with all the internships, and since I want to be like a lawyer, criminal defense lawyer, mm -hmm. I know I had to have my resume good. And it was like I went over great things that um, improved and uh, made sure that was really good for my resume. And um, I wouldn't say it was boring because, like I said, it's very important. And it's like you always have errors, and it's like um, people are there to help you with it. So I'm mm -hmm. so glad that it was honesty when it came to my resume. Like I, I wasn't disappointed if I had made this error, like grammar or um, just had a wrong no sentence. And it was, yeah, I just, I was just so happy to have, like, the extra help. So. Yeah, and so let me just say, you know, if you have young people um, age 16 to 24, we're still yet rolling out the workshop, uh, so give us a call. We're at 773-797-2008. Email us, staylitcys at gmail.com, or even stop by 459 West on 79th Street, and uh, we're rolling the workshop out again on Wednesday. Yes. And what time is that, Kira? Four o'clock. We're rolling it out Wednesday at four o'clock with our fresh new batch of young people. Um, and all of this is leading up to an employment opportunity. And so we'll share a little bit about that a little later. But the idea is that if you have any young people age 16 to 24 that's looking for an employment opportunity, please send them to our career readiness workshop uh, that we'll be having on Wednesday, uh, which is October 16th. 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 October 16th, Wednesday, so that they can get started with this awesome curriculum. Um, when, when um, Dominique, when you came in, you mentioned your experience was, was new. It was, um, of course, exciting. But you did some other awesome, exciting things as well. And I kind of want you to, to share these other awesome opportunities that we were able to pour into your resume and help you build. So, like, bring us up to speed with, like, all of these other things um, that you're definitely interested in. Basically, during the summer, I had went through a program called One Summer Chicago, and they paired me up with the Alderman office, David Moore. And I want to give a shout out to David Moore and his staff hey, also. Alderman Moore. <laughs> and um, basically, it was a great experience for me, and also like my um, previous co-workers, uh, interns that was there. And um, basically, I say like it was like great experience because you working with adults that can help you in life and prepare you for like all the necessities that you want to have the basically like your priorities as an adult with paperwork faxing and basically getting out in your community and that was one of my favorite parts to be in my community and help out the residents that was around like be, make sure that they are aware of like alerts in, in the um like community meetings and just to go work with the Ottoman and his staff was a very great experience because we all worked together and um, just to, I can, just to look up to them 
and basically see them like doing all these amazing things and, and just like um we as we need as a community and it's this I say it's very important because it's just like um it's so many bad things that be on social media and news and we bring out the posit positivity in our community yes. and I just um so glad to be working with others like that that sing see sees the positivity and um I just yeah it was a great experience and yes. I got I and that was another thing social networking was a very important thing mm -hmm. for me because without working there I wouldn't know like judges I wouldn't know uh, Dr. Carol and I wouldn't know like like lawyers and like through the community meetings and um, they was all great people um, we also had like great conversations and I was yeah so thankful for that and I, like again I want to give a shout out to Alderman David Moore and his staff so yeah no, we are always, you know, looking for opportunities like such as these, you know, to to um, allow you to let your light shine, right? Because we we can't do this work alone. You know, this is why, you know, we share these platforms and we have these conversations because if there's anyone else interested in uh, leveraging the connections that we have in the community, that's what we do, right? And so again, call us, connect with us. You know, um, we're about this youth development thing for real. <laughs> you know, um, so reach out to us again right now. We just have this awesome um, connection going on with recruiters at um, the United Center. And they wanted to hire young people from the local community and reached out. And so, again, we designed this particular career readiness workshop uh, specifically tailored for this particular position. So, um, again, if there's anyone 16 to 24 that's looking for a job, it is at the United Center, a guest service representative uh, position. Um, you do have to take a background check uh, as well as a drug drop so just be prepared for that but outside of that we prep you for that right we um, in fact have the curriculum that we roll out we help you design your resume or revise your resume and then we actually help you with the online application <clears throat> Once you do that application, guess what? What do we do then? We have this, this yeah. session where we do 30 seconds or less yeah. videos where young people have to identify their, their, you know, their name, their school, their grade level. They have to let us know um, their professional goals and why should they be hired for the job. Wow, right? We have this critique session, again, student-led critique session where we have these pointers about what could you have done differently, what did you highlight, what are some things you missed, and uh, that's my favorite part of the, of the workshop because you get to see all of their personalities, right? You get to see that like real time right in front of you. And so, um, you know, that's the piece we then have after the, the application. And then we, we also have mock interview sessions. Mm -hmm. There are professionals that literally volunteer their time to come in and sit down and do mock interview sessions with our young people and giving them tips and one-on-one -on -one pointers on how they can better enhance their professional profile. So uh, again, we are truly invested in this youth development thing and, and uh, you know, give us a call and let us know if you have any young people who are interested in our program um, here you know let's let's just see if if you know what would Kiara say what would Dominique say to another young person you know because you know we're helping them prepare themselves but what would you say to a, a young person who's trying to prepare themselves professionally you know whether it be professional development leadership development workforce development what kind of last word, like tips or pointers, would you give them, you know, for for their next steps? Me, um, myself, I would say uh, never be a never be afraid to fail. Um, a lot of times we we'll be afraid to make mistakes. We we'll be afraid to say the wrong thing. We we'll be afraid that we're gonna look crazy in front of somebody. Your your development is about you, not about the people around you.
The people around you does not affect, does not go to your development. So don't be af afraid to fail, but always know that you can get back up and do better. Ask questions. There's nothing wrong with asking questions. Always ask questions and always be open. Um, that's what I would say. Be open, ask questions, and um, put your best foot forward. Bring your A game all the time. Yes, yes. <laughs> And Miss Dominique, what, what tips would you give some other colleagues of yours? I would say personally to never be afraid, as um, Kiara was saying. Basically, just always have that determined mindset. Like, you you can't always say that you can't do this, you can't do that. Like, you never know what you can do. So it's always good to um, be that person that can step up and also um, take new, like, risks. And basically, um, you never know what opportunities come to you in the future. So it's always great to basically just get out there in the real world and as a young person, as a young adult, uh, for example, as myself, because I, I was shy um, in the beginning and I had grew out of that basically because it's nothing to be shy of, nervous about because it's like basically you being out there, just yourself, you just be yourself and um, that's what most um, people like about like young adults, just you being yourself because if without you being yourself, who are you? And it's like always great to have more leaders in our generation and that's why I like to see for um, for other kids also like I like to see leaders and just have that great mindset and um, just always stay determined and always be on your A game when it comes to all of, all of the workshops you always have to make sure you have reminders and always make sure that you communicate with others to make sure that you going to be here on, on time and this and that so yeah just Yes, that's what's up. I mean, again, we absolutely love emerging leaders. You know, so um, let me just say these these last final announcements. Um, this is the last week to apply for that job. So if you're considering or if you have any young people who might be interested, uh, Wednesday is the last day we're rolling this out and Friday. Uh, October 18th is the last day to apply online and this is the case because next week is when we're doing the mock interview sessions but on October 30th our uh, community res resource partner is coming in to do the on-site interviews at our location on October 30th so this is why these deadlines are final uh, we've been rolling this out for quite some time um, and so um, again we are like right at that 50 mark of young people who um, will be prepared to now go and not only land the job but keep the job right that's that was that's what we were goal. striving for so they're not only ready to land the job but they will be ready to keep the job so Again, keep that date in mind. So Friday is the last day to apply online. But again, Wednesday, you need to be in the building to see us. Uh, and then there's an all-community-wide employment fair as well. It's the Inglewood Job Fair and Employment Resource Fair. That's on October 16th during the day from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. And that's at Limbloom Park Field House. Again, October 16th. 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Limbloom Park Fieldhouse. That address is 6054 South Damon. You need to be there if you're 18 or over looking for employment. Remember, our opportunity is for young people aged 16 to 24. Here on um, Wednesday the 16th is 18 and over. So if you're looking for a job, be at Limbloom Park Fieldhouse. Um, we're also having a fall forum series, Parenthood in Englewood, from 11 a.m. until 12.30, and this is going to be on Saturday, October 26. You do not want to miss this fall uh, series here. Uh, that's going to be at Teamwork Englewood, located 815 West 63rd Street. So, young people, 
let's come out and, and, and tell them uh, what parenthood and Inglewood <laughs> should look like, right? So listen, these are opportunities if you need service learning hours. Come and get you some hours with us. Um, and then we're having a community breakfast meeting where we talk more specifically about our mission and vision and all of these other events and activities that we do as a youth initiative in, in the 17th Ward. That meeting is November 9th. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. and that's at the state lit headquarters 459 west on 79th street thank you so much for tuning in we really appreciate you um give us a call stop by and uh we're looking forward to seeing you uh, on our next segment thank you